here is another ovary here is another ovary and I think you could believe that because you could see that these bluer cells look like a classical ovarian stromal cells you can also see there are areas that look more fibrous you can also see blood vessels uh, I don't think I'd have a hard time convincing you this was ovarian tissue what uh, you might have a hard time understanding however is that if we uh, back off in this ovary and this might even be part of a little follicular cyst here doesn't it because it looks like it's lined by some epithelium so another reason why you totally believe uh, this is ovary okay so let's go back a couple of notches however and move around a little bit and whereas you are fully convinced this is ovary now you're saying my god what the heck happened here did the pathologist screw up that he mixed in the uh, endometrial uh, tissue with the ovarian tissue because this looks so much like classical uh, endometrium well it is classical endometrium but it happens to be plastered onto the ovary this is endometriosis this is a case where the endometrium which should be confined to the inner lumen or the mucosa of the uterus decides to go to other places like appendix like colon like mesentery like peritoneum ovary is probably the first or second most common place this wandering aberrant but normal endometrium likes to go to and you can tell that these are not just some haphazard inclusion glands look you can see various types of throughout the ovary this is really endometrium because you have both glands as well as endometrial stroma which are these bluer cells um, here's another focus so in order to really be uh, sure or more confident that you're diagnosing endometriosis correctly anywhere in the body not just ovary not only should you see the typical types of endometrial glands but you should also see the classical type of endometrial stroma as well these can hemorrhage these can cause adhesions it's one of the most frequent causes of abdominal pain in women uh, they generally do not turn into malignancy but they can fluctuate with the menstrual cycle so endometriosis in the second half of the cycle might have vacuoles or secretion within these glands and in the first half they might respond to the higher estrogenic levels by having no secretion but more glandular and stromal mitoses so the definition of endometriosis is normal looking and normal functioning endometrium uh, outside of the inner uterine cavity thank you very much